Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 7.1. In this problem, we are asked to find Vx, Io, Vc for time greater equals zero, right? So now, this is a source free RC circuit, and just a few steps which we may follow to solve these kind of problems. The first would be to find the initial condition. So initial condition. The second would be to find the time constant. Time constant. And the third I'd say would be to combine everything. Combine everything. Now here, we have to find RTH with respect to the capacitor and then compute the time constant, and then just basically substitute whatever we have into our general formula for a source-free RC circuit, which says V of T is equals to the initial voltage decaying at this particular rate, given by negative T divided by the time constant, and this is in volt. So now, let's find RTH with respect to this capacitor. So you just basically imagine this as an open circuit or as some terminals which you're going to have. Then now you're going to find the total resistance with respect to this part. So you're just basically going to combine these two in parallel because they share two nodes. Then add this 8 to find your final resistance in terms of the capacitor. So this is what you basically have, 12 multiplied by 6 divided by 12 plus 6. So at the bottom you have 18. Then this is going to divide like that. And 3 into that is basically 4. So your final answer is 4 ohms for, the, for this parallel connection. After that, you're just going to add your 4 ohms to this 8, which means RTH with respect to your C would be 4 plus 8, which is 12 ohms. Now, to compute the time constant, you basically say tau is equal to RC, and your R is this, is this R which you found to be 12, and your C is the value of the capacitor, which is uh, 1 over 3 farads, so 1 over 3, 3 into that is 4, so your time constant is 4 seconds. Now, coming back to this formula which we have, which says V of C is equal to the initial multiplied by this decay rate, we're going to put the initial which we're given in the question. The initial VC is already given to us in the question as 45 volts. So that's what we're going to put here. So the answer for VC of T is equals to 45 E to the minus T divided by the time constant, which we found to be 4. Now, 1 over 4 is 0 0.25. And that is the common notation which is basically used to make this compact. So you're just going to say 45e to the negative 0.25t in volts. So that is your VC of t. And we're now going to, now that we have this, we're going to proceed to find the others. So we now have VC of t. So we're going to proceed to find Vx. So Vx is over here. It is the same across these two. And therefore, we can do voltage division. So we're going to combine these two into one resistor value so that we have something like this. And we did that over here. It gave us 4. So we have 4 ohms over here. And we have 8 ohms over here. Then we can assume this to be a voltage source. We can assume this VC to be a voltage source because this is a storage element. It's a capacitor. It stores energy, right? So you can assume this to be a voltage source. And therefore, we can do voltage division, right? So to find our Vx, which is located over here, we're going to say Vx of T is equals to Vc multiplied by 4, which is the resistor value of the parallel combination, divided by 4 plus 8. This is just basically voltage division. And we have this value here of Vc, or we have this formula for Vc over here. So just basically multiply it and divide it by that. So at the bottom, we have 12. So this is going to be 3. That's going to be 1. So Vc or Vx of t is equal to Vc divided by 3. So here we have 45. So what is 45 divided by 3? It's basically 15, which means our Vx 
of t is therefore equals to 15 e to the minus 0 0.25 t volts. That is our Vx. And finally, we have to find IO. Now, IO is indicated as, a as the current which is flowing through from this point to the other side. So there are quite a few ways to do this, but a simple way will be just to use, considering that this current actually flows through the capacitor, and we know for sure that I is equal to C dV over dT, and we have the value, or we have the formula for VC, which is the capacitor voltage. So this is what we're basically going to do. IO is equal to C, which is 1 over 3, then derive or differentiate this this formula over here. So it's going to be dVc divided by dt, which is uh, going to be, so differentiating that, we're going to have 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 3, then say 45, it's going to be negative over here, then say 45 e to just that. So our IO of T for time greater or equals to zero is going to be just this. So just basically say 45 divided by negative 12, and the negative comes from this top part. When you differentiate your E, you just basically take the coefficient of your variable at the top and multiply it over there, and that is what I basically did. So here, as your coefficient or the number which comes before e, you're just going to have 45 divided by negative 12, which is negative 3.75, and then have everything as it is or as it was, and write your units over there. And now we have all the values vx, vc of t, and io of t.